Bell. Oops. Black Scorpion. Yep. It comes with everything, which is the belt, the outer port, the inner port, the holster, and when ordering the belt online, you specify which holster for which gun you want to use. Most of those belts are offered in the most popular handguns. Uh, you can see I lost the uh, bottom retention screw. I was messing with it for another holster, and then it came loose from that holster. Well, I had to go to Lowe's to get another screw. But it's okay because once I set up my retention, I leave it alone. So that belt again comes with the holster of your choice, the holster hanger, and four magazine pouch that are absolutely, totally adjustable in every direction. If you end up deciding you want to shoot uh, upside down, you can make those one work for you. So you can have them on the left side, on the right side. Uh, like my magazine, I like to have the front of the magazine backward. I know a lot of people prefer it to the front. But anything is adjustable, anything is doable with those holsters. And I even move the logo here inside out. And this way I could paint the outer part of the magazine pouch. So this is my belt and the reason why I went to that set is because at the time I did not know what I wanted. I, didn't wa I did not want to have to fish for a holster, a hanger, a belt, a uh, magazine pouch because you don't know which one works, which one doesn't work and the prices and so I went with a full setup and I was thinking from there I could upgrade but that's been two years ago and I still have the same setup. One thing I will probably upgrade in the future is the hanger here. They have some more rigid hangers. Except for that, I could also remove that holster from my SP01 and put in my new holster, p f So it's fully modular. You can upgrade as you want. But I think for an entry level belt, it is very solid, really good, served me very well. For a couple of years um, and that's about the competition every month during from uh, from May until September October and the beauty of that is if you are not competing but just training you don't need to put on the inner belt you can just Put on that belt, it's not as rigid, but at least you have a location for your gun where you can always find it in the same place without having to put on that inner belt. So this is a, a really, really good setup and I will leave the link down below where to find that belt if you are interested. But for the price point of 200 bucks, as of, uh, well it was two years ago and it's still, I think at 199, depending on the holster you are choosing. Some are a bit cheaper at 189 and some are a bit more expensive, I think at 10 to 20. Um, this one I believe was at 200, that's the one, 199. So those prices are as of now, 2019, I know it might change. But that gives you an idea of what it can cost to start competition with the belt. And then it goes up from there. So when you first get the belt, you have to locate exactly where you want your holster, which is right behind that bone here. This is the closest forward you can go. And same for those magazines. So right below those bones here. And then you have, and you can adjust them as far away as you want or as close to the angle of the magazine but one thing you have to do too is to put some velcro inside this way you have a good contact with the inner belt and I did the same on the hanger here so this is pretty straightforward good belt very pleased with it 
and then I think at some point, as I say, I'm going to upgrade the hanger, maybe the belt because I want another color, but I don't have to, and the holster as I need to change from gun to gun. This is just the Kydex. Very sleek, very nice inside. And you can adjust the retention. If you are running with a gun, you want a pretty good deep retention, but for still challenge I'm doing, I want a pretty loose retention. So here it is. Until next time, see you guys.